let's next create the line along which we'll extract sigma x. So <coughs> uh, for that, I need to know what the, you know, what that appropriate y location is. So if I go back to, if I say coordinate system 2, I see that the y location there is 0.331 or 1. So I can highlight that and copy it, just the number. Um, and then I'll go and create the line. So highlight model and say construction geometry. And under construction geometry, path. And I'll right click and rename the path. I'll call it line on front face. OK, enter. So I need to tell it where the line needs to start. See, if I zoom out, um, right now it's, you know, it's right at, right over here. So I want, I can define the, um, the orientation in the global coordinate system because sigma x is, you know, it's, the x is aligned with the global coordinate system. That's the number of sampling points. I won't change that. But the start, I will give it in my coordinate system. And <clears throat> so you can see, put it at the origin by default, but I want it at, not at the origin, but um, at the appropriate Y location. So I will paste the number that I just copied, and I'll put a negative sign. OK, and you can see that, OK, it's got the start of the path right. And then let me give it the end of the path. And for that, I just need to go and give it the origin of my coordinate system 2. So I will just select my coordinate system 2, and the origin is a default. And if I zoom in here, I see that I have my desired path. By the way, I can also create uh, coordinate systems by offsetting, you know, by giving uh, a specific offset, and that's another way to do it.